Okay. So we're going to do a quick Q&A with these wonderful filmmakers that you've just seen from the group B. And then after a quick Q&A with them, then I'm going to get any other filmmakers. Hopefully we have people from the other group as well, and we'll do the awards. But let's start. <laughs> Surely there's room for Eric somewhere on the stage. I don't know. It's a bit crowded. There was a lot of films. I don't want anybody falling off the stage now. I don't, I don't know how we're going to do this. Um, <laughs> there we go, Gilchrist. You figured it out. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. So, may we begin, please, go down the line, some of you have done this before and you know what to do, I, I believe it might, might be your first time, so I'll tell you. Please say to everyone your name, the name of your film, and then one thing that will remind them of what that film was, because they have just seen quite a few films. Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah. my name is Joseph Olan Logan. Uh, our film was A Gardener's Guide to Being a Dawn, and it was the, the one where Someone drags someone's body across the garden. Anyone remember that? Okay, yeah. yeah. Is that all? And it's, uh, You're good for now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you, you passed the first test. <laughs> I'm Johanna, and our production team was Boiling Brains Production. Our film was Fragments, and it was an artist who lost both their identity and um, touch to reality. And I am Susan Lyles with Rough Rough Dog Films. We were the um, snowy, axe-carrying, wagon-dragging um, piece. And the little black dog. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Shimon. Uh, our film was Meat, and it was about uh, uh, violence done to women. Our team was Forward Moving Motion and our film was Jean-Luc Tera Manu meets the Singing Whaleys. And I think you know which one that was. Hi, I'm Dominic Williams. Uh, we have Makeshift Productions. Our film is about a whaley full of coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Jamie Sundance. I directed the last one we just saw, which was the seance with a little bit of cheese in there. And uh, it was called Arkin's Potato Potato, and it was called <laughs> OK Bloomer. Hello, my name's Callum Henderson. I'm from Team One of Us's Board. Our film was Not Mulch Time. And that was the one with the wonderful welly with the lights attached all over it. Thank you very much. Hey guys, uh, my name is Rob. I'm from the Totally Tartan team. Our film was called A Visit from the Past. It was the, the one with the, the girl that gets the text from an ex boyfriend and then she goes to meet him on the beach. Uh, it was pretty grim. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Gilchrist, I'm representing Team Bank. Uh, we were the first film called Twist of Fate where I made uh, Ben and Kerry's four-year-old boy drop an F-bomb and several other things. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sandy Jarrack. Uh, I did the David Lynch one with the duck, which is 660 seconds into the void. Hello, I'm Eric Robertson. We were full of scorpions and we blew up the Bank of Scotland. Perhaps it should have been back to this bank. Hello, I'm Choya. I'm from La Compagnie des Artistes, which I probably just murdered. Uh, we were the children's TV presenter being murdered by the three creepy sisters. Give all of these filmmakers a big round of applause for everyone. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Lots of questions. I mean, how can you watch? How can you watch these films and not have questions about them, right? So I have lots of questions, but I'm hoping you do too. So does anyone want to uh, shout one out? Anybody have any, or do you want me to warm warm you up first? Um, okay. 
There was a lot of great locations. Always a good thing to talk about. I mean, Sandy, you were in your bathtub. <laughs> Got a credit, bath as itself. That was quite good. Um, did anyone else have any locations that you want to share? You don't have to tell us where they are, if they're top secret, but um, uh, yeah, did anybody... I, I know, for instance, Callum, you visited Nan McKay's garden, famous garden, of course. Do you want to tell us about that? Or, uh, or also, your, your other room, the science fiction-y room, was quite a good location. Yeah, so we were really lucky on that front in that we had a couple of people who are willing to let us film uh, one in their office and then two in this community garden, which happened to be close by. I can't really take any credit for either of those, although I will. <laughs> I think um, the place, the office itself was something that we set up ourselves. It was basically a sound recording room. And we added a bunch of lights to it. We added a bed sheet to a table. We taped a bunch of lights around the table itself. And they managed to get off this really, really great glow for our introductory scene for our film. We were really, really pleased with it. Um, we hope it came across well there. And yeah, uh, I think that's probably me. I'll shut up. <laughs> OK. So uh, yeah, there was a lot of cool locations. Does anyone else want to share any of your spots you? Or uh, yes? Shimon? Yeah, we had uh, location isn't uh, a specific per se, it's uh, Queen Street Gardens, but uh, uh, for filmmakers uh, next year in the future, try to avoid the parking next year. It's, it's extremely expensive. Try parking somewhere else. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, so you said I have a question for the filmmaker right next to me. Where did you get all the snow from? <laughs> Um, we made it. No. <laughs> um, I, we shot in Denver, Colorado. So we were supposed to have had sunny weather when we started talking about making this film. We were going to shoot outside. And then the weather changed, which it does in the spring in the Rockies. And um, it rained all day Friday. We shot inside. Um, Saturday morning, the snow was there. My director and my husband woke me up at 7.30 and said, get dressed. We need to go outside and film. So we did. That's where we got the snail. So on that subject matter, I'm so th we've had a few global collaborations this, this time, but I'm so glad Susan's joining us from Denver. She, she made this, this movie last weekend in Denver, and now she's here. So I mean, uh, how incredible is that? Really, really honored to, to have her here. And we did, I, I know there's been a lot of global collaborations, um, uh, uh, I know, for instance, uh, just next to you, is it Shai Shimon? Is that, am I saying that right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about the, the, the kind of diversities on, on your team? Yeah, we were um, one of the last batch of European students before the Brexit close. Uh, so we were, we have, well, basically my whole team over there, I think no one comes from the same place. We have Stefan, who's from Austria. We have Yu Tang from Hong Kong. We have Anthony Scrooge from Nigeria. Uh, uh, so we work on projects we collaborate, and uh, uh, of course Nats from France. Could you raise hands? I don't. I don't see you. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. That's pretty much it. Noemi from Monaco, and uh, yeah. Fabulous. So glad to have all of these connections. Uh, right. So that's enough of my questions. Who has a question in the audience here? Some of these films. Okay, Ian. Eric, uh, timing. How did you get the cat? How many? Do you have more than one shot of the cat and the fire engine? I sat for about. Oh, I sat for about uh, half an hour, just hoping <laughs> and waiting, and finally the cat just did exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> and the fire engine just happened to go past. We also had a group of dancers that came down.
Yeah, that was our cinematographer, Jacob, who um, had some Astera tubes, they call them. You know, big, fancy little tubes that do sort of programmed animations. Uh, so we're waving them around at one point. So. <laughs> he almost didn't want, it was my idea though. I mean, he, <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to use them pretty boring. He was like, yeah, yeah, we'll stick it there. And I was like, we got bloody lights that do programmed disco shit. Let's move it around yeah. and play it around a bit. There you go. Got yeah. it, got it in here. Oh, uh, uh, I think the film Wenid, right? Uh, 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 the shot with the white powder on the on the on the table with the reflection. I think you guys, good job. I think was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Can I sentiment that as well? I just thought a lot of the cross cutting and the angles were lovely, and you did it beautifully, and it worked really, really well. So I felt well it was shot in such a small place. With such a, a lot of room that felt kind of a lot bigger than it was, so well done. Uh, can I say meat when you had the shot and you just moved around the three horrible characters and on the face of the girl was absolutely brilliant. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like all the shots in the David Lynch one. I, sorry, I don't know which, who's, which group is that? Ah, uh, you! Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, I loved all the shots in yours, like they're crazy and yeah, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I love the editing in that, like, just zoom in on faces and eyes, just go for it. It's, oh, I, I felt artsy. <laughs> I like the shot in the dawn, the one that kind of was in aerial, aerial mode, and you saw the kind of the gardener dragging the body. Oh, that dawn. was courtesy of Emily Ritchie, she's at the back over there, can we get a round of applause for her? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this is a great question, actually. Anybody else? Any, how about even not even shots, but anything else that you like in another movie? In the last one, the lighting was great, excellent. How this is still was like in the sense of realism, but then the light kind of destroyed the realism and went into the hearts of the characters. That was mental. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it though? I want to see the face. Who was it? Uh, for okay, oh. Zimmer. The actors are there. Yeah, the actors? The oh. actors are there. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. Thank you very much for this emotional experience. <laughs> Can I? I always like to see air on camera, so props to this guy here. Air, the location. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just here. Plus, I loved your film as well. I thought it was a really, really well acted and well thought out piece that had a really nice punch at the end. No, that's a bad choice of words. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> man. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I loved it all of them, um, but I'm a massive Lynch fan as well. So I'm just kind of like really interested as to how did you just like did you have a script or did you just like? <laughs> Uh, I had a script. Um, yeah, I had a script. <laughs> <laughs> and three lines to remember. <coughs> I think Sandy just does a ritual. And it's not worth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Reverend Parson. Okay. Anybody else have another question, or we're, we're going to hear from? All yes. Okay. Uh, lessons learned for a next film. Do they have ideas like after something went not so well or yes. wrong, you know? Lessons learned. <laughs> yes, lessons learned. Anyone have this is for anyone? Lessons learned. Uh, don't leave your bag line on a beach because a dog will come up and piss on it. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't use a boom mic when you're using theater actors. A laugh mic would be more controllable. Trust the process and the awesome collaborators. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, good question. Uh, I guess my lesson would be, like, we need for, uh, every person should have their own job, like a main job on, like, as part of the production. Like, there was a lot of each, like, people going into other people's territories, and 
I feel like if from the start we had a better discussion, like a more direct discussion, then a lot of the problems might have been avoided. So yeah, that's my. That's actually good. I'd second that a bit as well. I can, uh, you, you, you can leak into other things and too many cooks isn't good. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it's good. You won't always want to listen as well. Uh, my thing would echo that a little bit, more, mainly in writing, is that the hardest part is getting something on paper from the start. So let one person go away and put something on paper and then edit that. Because if you're all sitting around and trying to write it from scratch, you'll all be arguing and nothing will happen. But if you let one person go right away, just put something on paper, someone who's crazy, let them write six pages of absolute ridiculousness, it's much easier to edit than it is to write from scratch. That, that, that would be my basic, uh, maybe, advice. But it might not work for everyone, but that works for us. Uh, th thank you. That's exactly um, Team Bink's ethos is a uh, group table uh, brainstorm, which is great. But we've developed over the years a process of having a vote system for ideas. So, <laughs> so it's very democratic. But, um, yeah, I'd agree with that, except the person you send off uh, shouldn't then come back with a nine-page script um, because that just creates problems for poor Ben in the edit. That's me, by the way. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Ben. Sorry. Yeah, uh, my piece of wisdom is, I don't know if I told you, but the parking on, on Princess Street. <laughs> <laughs> no, jokes aside, uh, trust the people you work with and work with friends, and it's on your pleasure. I've been doing it a wee while and my advice would have to be just keep doing it because it's as a filmmaker there isn't enough experiences like this to keep challenging and keep you always your synapses flowing and, and it's just so much fun and you get to get your friends back and see your cousin for the first time in nearly three years you know it's a great thing and just keep doing it and just keep doing it and oh it's doing it again go and do Glasgow just keep doing whatever one you can get your hands on. And these people can test them and they became miles to do it. That's how much fun it is. I like that, absolutely. Well, I second that. I think um, just making films is the best way to make a film, you know, make a better film. Um, on top of that, for this kind of project, it's sleep. It does matter a lot. Like, uh, just uh, five hours and 48 hours is not enough. And that's, <laughs> that's my main thought about it, really. I already said one, but uh, I'll just echo those two ones again. Uh, keep, keep sharpening your, your axe. And this is a fantastic way for doing it. And no ego, no nothing. Just dive in, keep getting better for everybody. Just, who cares? Get in, make a film. Don't be, mind, uh, don't be afraid to change your mind if you have an idea that doesn't quite fit or doesn't seem to be working. Um, if something doesn't seem like it's going to progress anywhere meaningful, it's not a bad thing to change your mind and change course. Um, having multiple ideas is ideal, if anything. So that's what I've learned from this. Uh, what I've learned? Uh, I'll already answer that. <laughs> Uh, so my, although the editing, like you, you commended the editing there, my editor was in Essex, so it's probably better to work with an editor in the same vicinity. Yeah. I just say have fun, which we did. And what I learned is that my son is say he's going to do it by himself next year and challenge me. So. <laughs> I guess what a lot of people have said, just have fun. This was my first year doing it and pretty much everybody on my team was doing it for the first time and I think we all had a great time and we'll do it again. So yeah, just enjoy. <laughs>
a lot of pressure, um, both for us because um, you could see more Bob and Bob's adventures and find out about, well, you can't actually, he's dead, but one of his, <laughs> one of his colleagues and find out what the Forest Sisters will get up to next. <laughs> Well, for our film, because I don't know if you spotted the way in, there's an awful lot of welly boots sitting at the doorway there, and there's some yeah. who have matches, so take it in your own head. Uh, I vote for my film if you love David Lynch and you're a Lynch lover like me. I vote for Pink's film if it made you laugh, and also if you don't, Parsnips is coming for you. Vote for a visit from the past because our director put so much effort into it, he actually dislocated his shoulder and he wanted to uh, just battle through the rest of it. They we were going to pop it back in, like in Blade, so we were just like, no, nah, you need to go to the hospital. So, um, yeah, uh, cheers. Um, vote for us for the effort that we put into ours. We were a team of just two people. Uh, we wrote, directed, filmed, edited, <laughs> and did the soundtrack by ourselves. So that's why you should vote for us. Uh, vote, for, vote for our film because uh, we lit a lot of candles and the candle wax is still everywhere around the house and I got in a lot of trouble for that one. Uh, vote for Welly because it's just a bunch of friends having a good time. Having a laugh and <laughs> don't really know. But yeah, he had a laugh and vote for it, that's all. Do you want to know where the body's buried? <laughs> vote for our film and maybe I'll tell you. Um, yeah, uh, I would say don't vote for us. Don't vote for meat because this doesn't matter. What matters is that we stop perpetrating violence towards women and we stop this and we continue making films about this. Um, vote for Echoes of Life because it took over five hours to put my house back together. Fragments, and I promise you will never be lost and always know who you are. Okay. Vote for our film because this is only the beginning of what we're capable of. Thank you. Yeah.